Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to the newly opened Disneyland Hotel. Now in this video I'm going to show you a full tour of this hotel from the beautiful gorgeous lobby, the restaurants, the character meets and the shop. There's loads to see so come along with me. That's right, I'm currently in the lobby of the most beautiful hotel here in Disneyland Paris, in my opinion, the Disneyland Hotel where I've been staying for the past couple of nights and it has had a makeover over the past few years. They've renovated it, they've rethemed it to a royal theme and it looks phenomenal, it truly does. I love this hotel before the renovation, I love the theming beforehand, but I feel like even now, you still can't help but fall in love with it. It's a wonderful hotel, the service, everything has been fantastic and I can't wait to show it all to you. So let's start with the main doors from when you come in. Obviously there's security over here and then you get to this beautiful lobby which is just stunning with the wonderful chandelier piece in the middle which is the main part of this gorgeous lobby of course. One of my favourite new things about the lobby is this gorgeous, gorgeous artwork over here which is of course of the Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland Park and it's such a beauty you just can't help but look at it as soon as you come into the lobby of course after you've seen the wonderful chandelier which in photos it doesn't look quite as grand honestly and I hope you can kind of tell how amazing it is in the video form but nothing beats being able to see this in real life it is just gorgeous the cool thing about the chandelier is that it's designed in a way where no matter what angle you look at it it just always continuously sparkles and it, it looks like it's like twinkling at times as well especially if you're looking at it when it's dark outside so yeah it is so gorgeous I can look at it for hours and hours on end it's so beautiful and I was unsure about this I really was initially when I saw it I wasn't sure if I was gonna enjoy it or not but it is it's outstanding it really took my breath away the first time I saw it and it still does every time I go past it I'm like oh my god I just want to look at you look at that it's the castle this is the castle just hanging up there and apparently the chandelier weighs 1200 kilograms that is a lot and it looks it to be fair when you look it up close you realize just how heavy this must actually be now I learned that fact from one of the lovely cast members here at the Disneyland Hotel cast members here have all been so so lovely sharing so many cool things and I am here with the wonderful JV Hi guys! One of the fantastic cast members here at the Disneyland Hotel and he's just shared some fantastic facts with me. One of them being about the chandelier, right? Exactly. What did you just say? So I actually was saying that the chandelier that you can see above us here mm -hmm. is um, having 12,000 pieces in there to, um, with specific forms so like prisms, octagons, etc. And um, in these 12,000 forms, you're also going to see 447 uh, stars that are going to light up at night. Oh, wow, and I love stars. That is amazing. That's so good. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, JV. My pleasure. Wonderful. Well, carrying on, here we do have the concierge. Right next to it, we've got the bagagerie. This is where you can drop off your luggage uh, and pick it up later on your last day, on your first day, if your room's not ready yet. Right on the other side is where you will find the check in area, the check in desk. So, this is the reception, as you can see. And one thing I love about this is that the details in this hotel are just excellent. So you can see the Sleeping Beauty Castle here on the emblem. But over there, for instance, you've got Rapunzel. There's just so many beautiful artworks of Disney princesses and Disney scenes. This one over here, for instance, is a scene from Sleeping Beauty, which makes so much sense considering the castle here in Disneyland Paris. And we've even got Mulan over there, which I love. I love seeing representation from some of the princesses that we don't often get to see in the Disney parks. Now, if you're staying in a deluxe room rather than a standard slash superior room, then you will have your own check-in area. As you can see over here, reception deluxe. And there's a couple of desks here. It's normally a little bit quieter than the regular check-in desk. And of course, if you're staying club level, which is called the Castle Club here at the Disneyland Hotel or in any other suites, then you have your own reception, which is entirely secluded and very much more private. And that is my goal and my wish and my dream and has been for the past 10 years. Hopefully one day I'll get to stay Castle Club. Please have your fingers crossed for me because that is genuinely something that I would love to do one day. But this day has been fantastic either way. Let's continue with the tour. One thing I wanted to point out is that not only is this lobby gorgeous, it's also practical. So one thing I used to love to do before the renovation of this hotel is that I would just like to come here and sit on the sofas and relax take a little break from the parks and now they even have these USB plugs so if you're here you can charge your phone if it's your last day and your phone is running out of battery you can just chill here in the reception of the beautiful hotel that you've stayed at and just enjoy the atmosphere enjoy this beautiful chandelier and also make sure that your phones and electronics are all charged before you're off this does unfortunately bring me to a point that is quite important to make right now and that is that currently as of January of 2024 only guests of Disneyland Hotel can actually come and visit this so you have to either be staying at the Disneyland Hotel to come and see it 
or you need to have a reservation for the only restaurant that you can reserve even if you're not staying at the Disneyland Hotel but you still need to be staying in a Disney hotel just not the Disneyland Hotel which is a royal banquet and only for lunch so if you've got that then you've got access to the hotel you can come otherwise at the moment this hotel is very much closed to non Disneyland hotel yes you will have to show a reservation to be able to enter but that's something that might change in the future now one of the most beautiful things about the Disneyland hotel has always been the grand staircase and one thing I love that they have done since the retheming of this hotel and it's reopening on the 25th of January is that they have little happenings occur here from time to time so there'll be some cast members come here uh, talk about princesses and every now and again you will have a princess descend from the stairs which is so yeah. cool to see it's amazing for the children you get to like do some royalty movements and yeah it's a lot of fun I feel like it's definitely nice to have that especially considering the high prices especially here for the hotel it's nice that they have some little moments like that little magical moments it feels a bit more immersive with princesses constantly in and out of your experience it's amazing speaking of the grand staircase though if any of you have been coming to Disneyland Paris for a long long time you may remember that back in the days they used to have something called descent of the stairs and basically from time to time at certain hours in this hotel there would be some characters descending from the stairs you know scattering across the lobby and then doing meet and greets and I used to love that they're some of my favorite memories from like the early 2010s like 2012 13 14 15 those kind of times you got to meet some really rare characters sometimes you never knew who was going to come down and back then obviously anybody could come to the hotel it wasn't just you know reserved for Disneyland hotel guests it was a little bit of a chaotic experience at times because of the characters everybody wants to meet them but I just remember meeting quite some fun characters back in the days and I think now they've just changed it with princesses coming down which is completely in theme with what the hotel is meant to be and I'm happy for it I just miss what it used to be with that being said though even though it would be nice to go up the the royal staircase I want to also show you the lifts because lifts are so cute look at the Mickey handle over there he's just pointing at the different levels this uh, this building has four different levels and the inside of the lifts look really cute as well let's go in so this is the lift and I love the outline of the castle engraved here in the mirror I just love the castle I love it enough that I even have it as a little tattoo it was the first tattoo I ever got on my arm anyway with that being said we have just come out to the second floor which is the next uh, kind of main level up after the lobby which is where we were earlier and you could have just taken the grand staircase as well that's what I normally would suggest doing if you can because sometimes you do have to wait for the lifts because this hotel does have quite a few rooms and the, the lifts can get busy not overly busy not nearly as busy as for instance the Newport Bay but like I said the stairs will always be quicker and seeing as we're now on the second floor let's have a look at some of the details on this level so they have loads of artwork as I mentioned earlier you can see Tiana over here which is so beautiful and it looks like a little library as well with these old school looking books around this would be the long hallway slash bridge that takes you to the restaurants etc which we're going to have a look at later on but for now I'm going to go across the other side of the second floor which have a look at the view from here honestly no matter where you look at the lobby from it just looks gorgeous I came down last night and had a look at it as well again you'll be seeing some footage right now of what this looks like in the evening when it's dark and so quiet and it was just so peaceful so beautiful having said that we are now getting to the other side and look at this a Moana artwork piece here very very nice and then oh that's where you can get your glass from slash ice there are some seating areas here as well if you just want to chill relax read a book enjoy the atmosphere of a slightly more cozy area of the lobby and then here we've got a lovely photo of Merida oh and Simba here the Lion King that's rather random isn't it I guess I suppose Nala Nala is a princess yeah that makes sense now I'm gonna actually quickly go half a level down from the grand staircase because in between level one and level two there are still a couple of things to have a look at firstly this will give you a good understanding of exactly how close this hotel is to the park so you can see these beautiful windows here and people are currently exiting the park and this is this is the hotel this is the pink hotel as people like to call it the entrance to Disneyland Park here in Disneyland Paris and that's Fantasia Gardens over there people will be coming through to enter the park and yeah this is the luggage area to the right of the park entrance these are the gates it's so cool to be so close to all the magic now the main reason I brought you here is because they have some more of these beautiful artworks here so we've got Merlin here which is nice some more books some seating areas again and my bay here this is my absolute favorite artwork in the entire hotel which is of course Pocahontas with grandmother Willow 
it's just so nice to see some Pocahontas here and I really do hope that eventually maybe Pocahontas will be a bit more prominent in this hotel because it is meant to be royalty and they mainly have the classic princesses here right now so like your Aurora, Cinderella, um, you know Snow White, that, those kind of people but it's nice that they at least have some artworks of some other princesses like Pocahontas over here and Mulan who we saw earlier. Look they also have Wreck-It Ralph because I guess Penelope is a princess that's cool too. On the other side of this level they have this one artwork of Raya again I feel like quite an underrated Disney movie so very cool to see and oh my god look at all these clocks these like antique looking clocks very nice look at that one so pretty anyway I've come back to the second floor now because this is where most of your amenities are going to be so your shops restaurant bar kids club pool health club all of these things you will access from the second floor and this is also the famous walkway the bridge where you can people watch you can see people entering and exiting the park from both sides this is literally where you would go in this is the entrance of the park like you can see the train station over there and i think this train is actually currently parked which is so cool and like i said this is the bagagerie the concierge you've got the guest relations as well right next to it look at that absolutely gorgeous i just love it i love disneyland paris so much and especially the fantasia gardens area of it which is on this side where you first enter the music they play it's so cool and here we've got a photo opportunity where you can be royalty yourself, a prince to princess, and you know, sit on your royal chair and take some nice photos, which we actually haven't done yet, but maybe we'll do so. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Now, carrying on, you'll be able to find some beautiful display windows here with loads of amazing figurines of different Disney princesses. So, we've got Ariel and Prince Eric over here, there's Cinderella and Prince Charming, that's a really beautiful ornament, and 60 euros. And one cool thing with the reopening of the Disneyland Hotel is that they've also now released some new merchandise. Very very, very much exclusive to Disneyland Hotel guests so inside the shop over here which is the Royal Collection Boutique you will be able to find a selection of different Disney merchandise items including some of the exclusive Disneyland Hotel stuff if you're interested to see a full shop tour very much in detail about all the different items that you can currently purchase here at the Disneyland Hotel then I have done a full video on that I'll leave the link down below but they have so many cool things they have the scent of this hotel which controversially is not the exact same as it used to be which upsets me a bit because I used to love absolutely you adore the smell of the Disneyland Hotel before the renovation and they've changed it I don't know why it's still a nice smell don't get me wrong but it's definitely not what it used to be but if you do enjoy the smell that they have now if it's your first visit and you never got to go beforehand then you may enjoy it you can purchase the scent in the shape of a candle or you can get it as a spray they have t-shirts they have scarves they have even Dooney and Burke bags which is so cool to see like specific Disneyland Pad Paris ones and not just Disneyland Paris but Disneyland Hotel they have these jumpers which I actually bought one myself these were 70 euros and I really enjoy the embroidery it's also a very very nice feel like it's very soft and comfortable and at 70 euros more or less the same price as the spirit jersey maybe even less expensive and definitely better quality so I definitely felt that I had to get one of these and perhaps one of the coolest items that you can purchase from the Disneyland Hotel shop is Mickey Mouse a plush of Mickey Mouse priced at 30 euros and he's wearing his beautiful royal outfit that you can meet him with if you go and dine at the Royal Banquet restaurant which is one of the two restaurants here at Disneyland Hotel we're going to get to that a little bit later on but I actually have a little bit of a surprise for you so if you want to win yourself one of these beautiful Mickey plushes from the Disneyland Hotel exclusive to Disneyland Hotel guests and obviously very very new as well because the Disneyland Hotel has only just reopened all you have to do is just leave a comment down below let me know your favorite thing about Mickey anything will do and I want to say on the last day of February and this year actually We've got 29 days in February, so on the 29th of February 2024 is going to be the last day, the closing day of this giveaway. You can enter as long as you're over the age of 18, doesn't matter where in the world you are, as long as I can send this to you, you're good to go. So if you want to win this plush of Mickey, then go ahead, leave a comment down below on this video until the 29th of February 2024. And make sure you follow me on Instagram as well, so I can announce the winner. Anyway, just outside the Royal Collection Boutique, the main shop here at the Disneyland Hotel, we've got this exclusive Arebus figure which is actually very very huge of the castle and look they've even got the dragon here and you can actually purchase this if you wish to it says prix sur demande so they actually don't have a price for it you have to ask for it because of how expensive it is now 
Personally, this isn't really my style, but I can tell that it's definitely very, very, very impressive. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of this, you know, magnificent piece? Because it is magnificent, just not necessarily too very much my style. And right behind me, you can find the Royal Taylor Salon, which is connected to the shop. And that's where you'll be able to find some children's dresses, royal outfits for princes, princesses alike. And that actually also leads me on to say that if you do have a child, then they can make a reservation they're booking to have a makeover here with a photo shoot and everything, wear a dress, wear a full-on princess or prince outfit, have a photo shoot done. It's basically what used to be called BBD Bubbly Boutique. I think now they're calling it something like My Royal Dream, My Royal Makeover, something like that but it's the exact same concept and if your child wants to get a full-on makeover whether it's a prince or princess whatever princess they want to be then you may be able to get it obviously it's probably quite a popular thing so if you've made a reservation to come to design paris and that's something that you really want to do that's a priority then i would suggest to try and get that reserved as soon as possible but if you do have that reservation then you're also able to come and visit the disneyland hotel which is amazing carrying on from that beautiful space this will lead us eventually to the pools, the kids' uh, centre, etc. But you may also have spotted the D lounge sign up here, which is the area on your left. Now, the D lounge over here is reserved for people staying in deluxe rooms, and there's, I think, in total about 82 deluxe rooms, and they're all either on the first floor or the ground floor, so the two kind of bottom levels. And my friend Hannah and I actually stayed in a deluxe room on this day, so you can check out a full tour and experience of what it's like to stay in a deluxe room if you wish to. That's the only the one level up from the regular room, so not quite castle club yet definitely not as expensive as castle club either but it's nice that you get your own lounge and like i said if you want to see the full experience check out the link below to see exactly what it's like to stay in a deluxe room and all the breakfast the food options the drinks everything that you can get at the deluxe lounge and one awesome thing is that if you're staying in this hotel you're constantly going to bump into princesses so as you can see belle is currently out right now i literally just met her she was so so lovely so beautiful but here are some other interactions that i had over the past couple of days staying here as well hi belle how are you Very well thank you you look stunning you? i love your outfit Thank it's you. beautiful is it new is it like it's very new the yeah. wardrobe brought out just for this hotel. amazing shout out to the wardrobe of yes, course it's she does a very good phenomenal job yeah time, how's lumiere how's everybody else yeah, it's very well yeah the um, hotel is gorgeous by the way it's beautiful isn't it yeah it's amazing i'm so happy that you're here today thank you thank you so much we're happy to see you are you going on any adventures today um well i'm actually eating at the your the lumia's table tonight oh, so i'm looking forward oh, to that yeah <laughs> thank you see you there amazing thank you, you very much rest of your day? thank you thank you hello ariel how are you oh it's so lovely, lovely to, to meet see you. you thank you so much nice to meet you i love you Yes. Ah, thank you. It's beautiful. You really like it. It's like the ocean, right? It's exactly. And I'm glad that you've got your legs finally. Of course. And it's nice that you can wear this outfit yes. as well. And I started getting used to them too. I can dance now. Oh, I can them. dance. Yes, it's Prince Eric. Yeah, it's legs so are made to dance and jump with. Of course. <laughs> my favorite thing as yeah. well. Are you having a wonderful day? I'm having a wonderful day. Thank oh, you so yes. much. The room that we're staying at actually has photos of you in it, which is really? so lovely. Yummy. Yeah. Flanders oh. there as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Flander. So we oh, think about you every night. Today? Um I haven't seen him but I've seen a photo of him. Hopefully I'll see him around. He's up to many adventures today. Okay. Trying to find like thingamabobs and dinglehoppers. Oh, you awesome. have dinglehopper? I do like them. Oh wonderful. <laughs> I have like 20 in my Amazing. collection. Amazing, of course. I love that you're a collector. I enjoy collecting things. I, I just bought this from the shop. Oh. Look, it's a little poster. I think they have some photos of you in there as well. Oh. But yeah. Thank wonderful. you so much. Lovely to Thank see you. Thank you. Emerald. It's like speaking see to you. See you around. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Now seeing a bunch of princesses whilst you're staying in this hotel is definitely very, very cool. But one of my personal favourite things are the views that you get while staying here so look at this we're currently on one of the balconies and obviously right now it's January of 2024 so it's a little bit cooler but if you come here in the summer months where it will be definitely more expensive to stay here than it is right now but hopefully the weather will be nicer then you can just spend some time enjoying the weather and the vibe of Fantasia Gardens they obviously have these tables set up which currently nobody is using that's my bag over there but like I said when the weather's nicer then it will be a lot more lively and again you can see the people exiting the park from this side you can see all these beautiful gazebos they're currently playing <laughs> great big beautiful tomorrow which reminds me of Walt Disney World which is cute but yeah this is fantastic I have no idea when or if I'll ever be able to stay Castle Club with a theme park view which is my dream and has been my dream for a long time so this is the next best thing just being able to experience a little bit of the Castle Club vibes you know just having this view and being able to come to the balcony of course this is not you know your own balcony it's not a balcony in your room but it's a shared balcony that you can come and enjoy if you wish to 
and just people watch which as I've said is one of my favorite things to do no matter which Disney park I'm in and no matter what I'm doing even if I'm just on the ground sometimes I like just chilling on a bench and looking at people it might sound weird but I just there's something nice about just taking it all in taking the atmosphere and I think you can really you can really do that when you're here at the Disneyland Hotel because it's literally the entrance to the park and anyway, we're back in the lobby now and we are going to make our way to the pool in a second but I also wanted to quickly show you this view here again there's our people exiting the park but you can really see the main street station over there and the train is actually stopped at the moment as well it's just so cool here's a sign for the kids club and the pool and spa which is on the west wing is also where the deluxe rooms are located is where we've been staying but you can see the signs here we just we can take the lift or the staircase we just need to go a couple of levels down and there you go so pool health club and spa is on level zero and as soon as you come here you can smell the beautiful scents that they have here so Disneyland Hotel Spa is here I love how they've presented the entrance of it as you can see it's open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day and here are some of the treatments that you can get it's all by Clarence which is obviously a really cool brand and the prices they range from different things so we've got 320 euros for a 90 minute massage you can get it for 150 if it's only for an hour but yeah there's a range of things that you can do here and it looks beautiful in there actually sadly not something i'm going to be doing on this trip but maybe if i'm lucky and get to stay in this hotel again one day i will pay some more even to have some spa treatments done here we have the deluxe concierge which is nice and then this is the Royal Kiss Club and Crystal Pool and Health Club. And again, I wish you guys could smell things because everything is smelling really gorgeous here. Oh, look at some toilets. And the pool is over there. But before we get to the pool, which you can actually kind of already see it over there, the Kiss Club is probably one of my favorite surprises here. And as you can see, they have some colorings here, different princesses. And it's obviously mainly for children, but from my understanding, adults can also take part if they wish to. And I love the wallpaper here so cool now one of the coolest things about the kids club at the disneyland hotel is that it's not just a kids club you can also meet a princess in there with a proper photo pass photographer and everything and you can book your time slots on the app if you wish to but quite often because it's not normally very busy you can just show up and if it's not too busy you should be able to just go right ahead i would suggest that if you're a bigger family then definitely book a slot for me and my friend we just happened to stumble upon the kids club on our first night and got to meet cinderella it was so much fun and unexpected for us and then just now snow white is in there so I'm gonna go meet her. Hello Snow White! How are you? Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I love your outfit. Oh my it's so beautiful. Oh, so much. I it's so fun and colorful. Oh, of course, of course. I think the colors sparkle more, huh? I definitely, yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. And that's always a good thing. And I love your hair. It's crazy. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. What is your name? My name is Sam. Oh my goodness. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. I think the primary brand's the same. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Noah. It's so lovely to see you. Say hi to the boss. Of course. And I'm sure Dorothy would love to know that. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, Maybe we can make some apple pie together. That would be amazing. Oh my I goodness. That would be wonderful. Oh my thank goodness. You so thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, bye, Snow White. So lovely to Thank you. Bye -bye. And one cool thing about the Kids Club is that in the entirety of the Disneyland Hotel, the Kids Club is the only place where you can find a Mickey Mouse there. And he's in his Fantasia form, so see if you can spot him. I really enjoyed looking for him. And it's just an adorable library. Okay, well, in terms of the pool, you can see that it's just over there. And reception, Crystal Pool and Health Club will be here if you want to actually go swimming. They obviously do provide you with towels, etc. They do also have a sauna here, which is a lovely. And I'm not actually gonna obviously go fully into the pool and we haven't used the pool on this ship because it's been a very short trip. But I thought I would very briefly show it to you. It doesn't look too busy right now. So you can see what it looks like over here. These are the relaxing areas. You can smell the pool right now if you and me. And there you go. This is the pool. It's an indoor pool with lovely views of the Fantasia Gardens and these mirrors over here. The one thing I will say about the pool is that not much has changed on the pool side of things here at the Disneyland Hotel. It's basically got the exact same layout as it did before the renovations. Just some few details have changed, but it's still a nice pool. I wouldn't say it's the best pool at all. With that being said, we are now getting to probably the second most grand area of the Disneyland Hotel. 
and look at that ceiling over here. This actually used to be one of my favorite spots before the renovation, back when anybody could come and visit the Disneyland Hotel, because obviously as much as I would have loved to, I wasn't able to stay at the Disneyland Hotel every single visit, even before they renovated it. I was very lucky to stay here, I think, three or four times. A couple of times I came with my friends, so we split the costs, and it was lovely. I loved this hotel, really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, still never Castle Club, though. But of course, now with the renovations, the prices have been elevated even more, so who knows when I'll get to stay here again. And like I said, this used to be my spot. I would always come here. It looked very different before the renovations, but they were still a nice area with sofas and the ceiling was different as well. But again, the structure was the same. It just wasn't quite as blue as it is now. And I would come here, get a drink from the bar here, which has now changed into Fleur de Lis Bar, which we will check out in a bit, actually. This used to be Cafe Fantasia and I adored this cafe. It was so nice, such a nice and cozy place. It was a little bit outdated, but I didn't mind. It was just a really nice place to come and get a quiet drink or some food if you want to do. Next to it, as you can see, we've got a grand piano which is so nice to see. Now, I haven't actually seen any professional pianist play the piano yet, but I believe anyone can have a go if they want to. So who knows, maybe next time I come, I'll do a little performance here because I do play the piano, but obviously I'm not a performer, I'm not a professional or anything, I just play for fun. And this area here, this chimney, they've now put some sofas next to it, but beforehand there used to be like a character spot, so I think I've met Mickey here once, and sometimes some other characters would come here as a little exclusive character meet here for the Disneyland Hotel guests. Now it's just a little chimney area to chill and relax, but it doesn't matter because we've got Aurora there anyway, like characters just constantly going around the hotel, it's honestly so amazing immersive, so interactive, you're never short of seeing a Disney princess here, which is exactly what this hotel promised with its new concept when they announced it, and I'm glad that they're, at least for the time being, really sticking to it. Now this is also where you'll find the two restaurants. We've got the Royal Banquet restaurant to my left, and on the right-hand side is where you will find the La Table de Lumière restaurant, which is the sit-down restaurant, cost 120 euros per adult, only open for evening, for dinner. I actually dined there last night, so if you want to see a full review of it and exactly what I thought and the whole experience, then make sure you check out my video from last night. I'll leave the link down below, but I really enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. It's just obviously very expensive. It's just, it's not normal for me to pay that much money for a meal, but it's a nice, you know, treat from time to time if you want to celebrate something. And then here, of course, we've got the Royal Banquet restaurant, which is the character buffet. This is what used to be called Inventions, and Inventions was extremely popular with Disney guests. Obviously, back in the day, anybody could come and visit. It wasn't just for Disneyland Hotel guests. Now, unfortunately, it is only a Disneyland Hotel guest, so if you have a reservation here for lunch, you can see Daisy there and Donald. Now, the Royal Banquet is also expensive it is priced at 100 euros per adult 50 per children it's definitely the most expensive Disney buffet ever worldwide like across all the Disney parks this is the most expensive one and look there's Aurora again it's just I love seeing all these princesses everywhere if you're a princess loving person especially a child like I see so many little children in their outfits following these princesses and just constantly seeing them everywhere it is so magical and beautiful to see this it's so touching what I will say with the Royal Banquet is that Good news, again, even if you're not staying at the Disneyland Hotel, as long as you're staying in a Disney hotel, that means, you know, the New York, New York Hotel, Art of Marvel, Santa Fe, Cheyenne, Sequoia Lodge, Newport Bay, as long as you're staying in a Disney official hotel, then you are able to add this as an add-on when you book it, so you can come here for lunch, and that will allow you to then come and visit the Disneyland Hotel, which is great, at least that's something, right? You know, if you have the reservation, not only will you get to eat there and spend quite a lot of money, but you also get to come and experience the Disneyland Hotel, which I think is good, it's a bonus, it's kind of trying to get people to stay in Disney hotels rather than partner ones. Just bear in mind that if you're not staying in a Disneyland hotel, you can only book the Royal Banquet for lunch, which is still fine because the characters will still be there. It's not going to be any different. As far as I know, it's not going to be any different. Same food, same characters. You get to meet four different characters. It's either going to be Mickey, Minnie and Goofy and Pluto or Mickey, Minnie and Donald and Daisy. So the characters will also be there for lunch. Don't you worry. It's going to be an amazing experience. The character interactions are fantastic here. They really spend some time with you. The food quality I found to be really good as well. Like I said, it's just a price tag and obviously for me as a solo person it's fine because I'm only paying for myself but if you're a family it does definitely add up because even for children it's still 50 euros but yeah both of these restaurants both La Table de Lumière and Royal Banquet I did enjoy like I said it's not somewhere that I'm going to be dining at all the time but for a treat it's nice and obviously I wanted to showcase them to you which is the main reason I'm here actually and I hope you've enjoyed all my vlogs from the Disneyland Hotel hi Donald hi Daisy you guys look so good <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Look at you too. You're adorable. Mickey, Minnie. Nice to see you. Oh, you're adorable. Thanks for saying hi. 
Oh my god, look at the animals. <laughs> anyway, before we go into the bar and have a quick drink, because I haven't actually done that yet and I want to check out the new style of the bar, I also wanted to quickly touch on Castle Club. So Castle Club, I have mentioned it a couple of times already, it's the club level of the Disneyland Hotel. It basically means you've got some of the best rooms and you also have some suites included on the Castle Club level, which they're themed to different princesses. They look beautiful. It is my dream to stay Castle Club level and one day hopefully I will be able to make it happen. Who knows when? But the Castle Club level is basically here. It's in the main area. Area, so the centerpiece of the Disneyland Hotel which is exactly where we are now and those top floors that's where you'll be able to find all the suites and Castle Club rooms and access is limited to people who are staying Castle Club which means I can't unfortunately go and show that to you but give this video a like if you've enjoyed this video and obviously if you subscribe to my channel and support me hopefully one day I'll be able to test that out as well and of course I'll be vlogging yeah, the day I get to do it. With that being said let's go and check out this new bar Fleur de Lis bar is what it's called now it used to be Cafe Fantasia the menu is over here. It's uh, definitely, again, increased in price from what it used to be back when I used to frequently visit it. And this is the center area of it. I do like that chandelier. Very sparkly. Look at all the stars up there. And you've got these beautiful chairs and tables and the carpet's really nice. Still looks very peaceful, quite royal as well. And I've been told to just go and sit wherever I want to, which is lovely. And oh, you've got the balcony views here as well. Nobody's outside right now because it's cold. But I just love it. I love, I love being able to see, like I said, people. And those little boxes that you can see over there, that's because the press light of the design hotel hasn't actually happened yet. It's going to be happening in a couple of days' time. So I'm excited to see what's going to be happening with those. I'm sure it's going to be very, very fun. With that being said, though, let's have a quick look at the new menu for Flor de Lis. I haven't actually studied it too much myself. Oh, it opens up like this. I was trying to open it up like a book, but it's not quite like that. So they definitely obviously do a lot of drinks here. They do have a on the bar as well so here are some of the signature cocktails they are priced at 28 euros all of these which is i guess it's kind of what you would expect from a hotel like this you've got some other kind of alcohol here there's some champagne some drinks espresso martini more champagnes over here you can also get them uh, by the bottle over here as well look at that these are the prices and then you also can get just some regular cold drinks like coke sprites fanta etc fruit juices which is nice I might go for that actually as well as some coffees uh, cappuccinos uh, water cafe au lait all sorts of things and some barista specials which that's cool actually some different kinds of hot chocolates and coffees that are special to this bar and they also have uh, some snacks as well so some sweet ones which this is what I used to always come here for I'd normally get a crepe back in the days but you can see the prices they kind of range from about 13 euros or 11 euros to 18 euros for the snacks so they can get some cookies macarons um, what else have they got here uh, um, praline mousseline so yeah I'll definitely have to come back here and properly try some of the food options I think today I'm just gonna go for a drink though I think but they also have at least one vegan option in the savory section which is nice um, potatoes and black truffle cream okay 26 euros for some of the some of the savory dishes here 35 euros okay hopefully you get a gist of the prices I'm gonna choose a drink and yeah I'm excited look at my spot by the way I've got such a beautiful view I just love it and the seats are very comfortable as well I'm enjoying it I wish I had more time to fully experience this uh, bar and hopefully I will get to I will come back one day so I just got distracted because somebody walked past with a hot chocolate and the hot chocolate looks amazing and that's one thing I used to love 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 about this this space back when it was called cafe fantasia they would give you these hot chocolates where it's basically a solid piece of milk chocolate you put it in your milk and you just watch it melt and it just tasted delicious i'm not sure if they still do that the hot chocolate that just uh, i saw in somebody's hand looked like it was just like prepared it wasn't going to be prepared by the person like it used to be so who knows but i did also spot a lobster roll which was priced at like 35 euros which i really wanted to try and i spoke to the cast member here i got her recommendations and she also suggested it and i was about to go for it but i just don't think i'm gonna have the time because this is my last day i've checked out i'm leaving unfortunately very very soon i've got my train in like an hour or so so not gonna have the time today but i will come back because i really want to give this spot a full-on go and like actually try some of the proper drinks and the coffees and food savory sweet i want to like experience it in a better way tonight i just get well today it's currently about four o'clock i only got myself a little soft drink orange juice because i feel like i need something fresh and i still am able to enjoy it and the bar is just over there and just like that my orange juice has arrived and they also brought me some nuts over here to enjoy with it that's really cool and look at the decor of the ball very cute you've got the fleur de lis bar and napkins over here 
and it's minute made orange juice so I suppose it's not fully fresh but it is nice it's exactly what I needed I do also want to give a big shout out to Anais Anais is my server for the day here at Flop the Least restaurant and she has been wonderful she's been so lovely and um, I explained to her that I don't have much time and um, she's been so nice so patient and you know with a smile I just fantastic fantastic and yeah cheers to you guys this is gonna be my last drink at this hotel before I have to leave well I needed that I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like Sam why didn't you get apple juice because that is definitely my drink of choice but I just felt some orange juice today and I'm gonna enjoy some of these nuts as well and yeah I do like this bar I was the most worried about this bar and I've heard a lot of people say that you know it doesn't feel the same as what Cafe Fantasia used to be and when I saw photos of it online when it first opened because I came here a couple of days after the reopening because the first couple of days were expensive and I just thought I might as well wait a few days for it the price got a little bit down and that's why I'm here a few days later you know doing the week rather than the weekend but I will see photos and from photos it looked quite cold like just the decor of this place looks quite cold and corporate but now that I'm here obviously I haven't spent too long in it I like it I don't really see what people were complaining about or what I because even I when I saw the photos I was like I don't really know if I like it but I take it back I think it looks nice I don't really see the problem it's different don't get me wrong it is different Cafe Vantage I definitely had more character but they've done a pretty good job with this and it definitely does feel a lot more elevated okay well that was lovely I really enjoyed that orange juice in fact I've enjoyed my stay at this hotel so so much every single aspect of it has been fantastic from the service the quality of the food the experience the immersiveness the different characters it's been amazing and the decoration of the rooms as well the theming everything I've adored apart from the smell the only thing is the smell and the smell is still nice it's just personally I just I kind of miss the smell that we used to have here but that's just me being extremely picky nobody else is really going to care about that some of you will some of you who visited the Disneyland Hotel before I think actually some of you do care because I've had a few messages about the smell and unfortunately I have to say it's not the same having said that though look at this view this right here is the entrance of Disneyland Park people are currently going under me that sounded very weird to enter the park and I've spent most of my trip on this trip actually at the hotel because I wanted to make the most of it but I feel like this is the perfect place to end this vlog of the tour of the Disneyland Hotel I hope you enjoyed it before I end this there's a couple of more things to mention so they do have some stickers here free of charge complimentary stickers that you can get and collect from different areas I think there's six in total and they're different sidekicks different like princess sidekicks you should be able to see some of them right now there's Mika for Pocahontas there's the magic carpet and a few more to collect and you can get them from different areas of the hotel so the shop the main lobby area just ask different cast members and they will assist you I didn't even ask I just kind of randomly got them so you may also just be randomly given them from time to time but if you want to make sure you collect all of them then you can ask cast members exactly where you need to go to get them another fun thing that you can do at this hotel is a Disneyland Hotel quest which you can ask about as well at the reception it takes like half an hour and you get to kind of go on some kind of scavenger hunt and it can be quite fun I didn't get to do it on this trip but maybe next time I come I will do it let me know if you're interested in that and yeah at the end of it you get a little prize which is just like some chocolates in a cute little box but yeah loads of fun activities to do here at the Disneyland Hotel and what better thing than this view honestly but yeah with that being said I feel like this video has been quite long thank you so much for being on this journey with me thank you so much for allowing me to do this the thing that I do YouTube I really enjoy it and I enjoy you guys and yeah if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below any comments any opinions or thoughts that you have about the Disneyland Hotel I'll try my best to answer also a couple of you have messaged me on Instagram and asked me if I would do maybe like a Disneyland Hotel Q&A so let me know if that's a good idea because maybe if I get loads of questions specifically about the Disneyland Hotel I can I can film a Q&A video on YouTube answering your questions specifically about staying at the beautiful pink hotel at the Disneyland Hotel but with that being said I'm going to love and leave you thank you so much for watching I hope that one day you guys can come and experience this as well it is very very expensive but I hope that if you can't come at least this video kind of gave you an insight as to what it's like and I hope that I get to come back one day as well because I truly do not know when I'll get to come back I'm just very happy and grateful to have had this experience over the past couple of days but thank you so much I'm going to stop rambling let's say goodbye to the people there so nice I just there's a Disney village over there. Okay, I'm gonna go. Subscribe for more videos, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!